Hey everybody, welcome back. Now we're going to try out some freeze-dried wholesaler stuff here. This suggestion comes from a viewer. This is the chicken breast and meatballs. Alright everybody, welcome back. So today I've got something that I wanted to show you. Um, I'm anxious to try this stuff out. These were two items that I was going to test anyway. because Especially the meatballs, because I want to try them out and see how good they are. And one of our subscribers suggested we try them out. It was Richard Hampton, and he asked, have you tried the turkey breast or the meatballs? Dying to know. So I'm going to pull these out, and we're going to try them out and see how they are. I'm not going to cook anything with them. I'm going to heat them up, of course. But I'm not going to make, like, a big recipe or anything, because I couldn't possibly do that with all the stuff that freeze dries wholesalers have and do nothing but food videos. I'd be doing food videos forever if I did that. So basically what I want to do is give you kind of an idea of how this stuff hydrates, what it tastes like once it's cooked, and we can do that with just a simple taste test without cooking an entire meal out of it. So I'm going to explain to you the hydration process for these because they're both different. This one requires hot water. So we're going to heat up some water, put the meatballs in, and let them hydrate. You don't have to have boiling water constantly. You just heat up some water, put it to the side, and let them hydrate. This one requires cold water. So we're going to give that the cold water it needs, put that in there and hydrate it too. So let me get stuff out of the way here and uh, get my stove over so we can heat up some water for the meatballs first and we'll try it out. Alright, so first off let's do the turkey breast and there's my cold water right there. I kind of like that these um, get hydrated with cold water. I also like to cut these because they are resealable so I don't want to risk damaging the, uh, damaging the, uh, the ziplock in there. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the uh, shelf life of these. Uh, that's a question that I get a lot. Uh, with the advances made in uh, the packaging and the multi-layered bonded composite kind of packaging, that's what this looks like, the turkey breast. Really, really light. It's like styrofoam. So we're going to pop that in there and let it hydrate. You can see it. I can see the bubbles coming up from it filling with water. Anyway, so with the advances in the packaging and the mylar packaging that they use, you can likely probably double their guaranteed shelf life of 10 years easily with this food. Um, you can really go a long way with it, even sealed. You know, they, they say to use up the meats within 90 days. I've had freeze-dried stuff that's lasted a lot longer than that. Uh, in cans, however, but uh, if this is zipped up and sealed up correctly, it should be fine. So the, cool, the, the reason they do this and the cool part about this is this kind of packaging allows you to have better portion control so you can see what's in there as well as savings because they're not using a steel can. So now they can ship all their items in smaller boxes without bulky packing materials and without fear of denting or damaging a can like we worry about when we ship stuff, you know, normally when we get stuff shipped to us. Let me just light my stove here. There we go. Also, too, the cool part is with most, most packagers charge in a dimensional weight or size instead of just the weight. So for the first time ever, a company like this is able to offer free shipping to you. Now, that's within the United States, okay? Free shipping because the boxes are smaller, lighter, and less expensive for them to ship. You can also ship it a little more discreetly. You know, I come, when I get this stuff, it comes in a big cardboard box. It doesn't scream on there, freeze-dried survival food, so everybody in the neighborhood knows what you got. So as a general rule, they guarantee 10 years. Okay? But if you keep them in a cool, dry place, they say they will easily go 25 years or maybe even 30. So the idea with these is to make sure you don't get sunlight on them. Just let them sit in a box somewhere, put them away. Hang them in a dark storeroom if your storeroom is dark. Mine happens to be rather dark. I don't have, you know, I have the shades pulled. I have the windows locked off. You know, there's not much that can get in there as far as sunlight. So that's a good idea of how long they last. Um, once you open the package, okay, you really want to consume the food within 90 days. They say that the meat should be done in 90 days. The other stuff could last possibly a year, like vegetables and stuff. As a general rule, if you take this with your own um, vacuum sealer and seal it back up with a new oxygen absorber, you can easily get another five to ten years out of them if you're careful with it and you know what you're doing. Uh, now, there, there's a lot of things that go into that as far as how long you had it open. You know, did I open this bag out here today and leave it out here when the garage gets warm and just let it sit, you know, for a few days? Then I sealed it up and said, why didn't I get five years? Well, that's why. So as a general rule, 
without worrying about cans and bulk, and you can store a lot more of these too, trust me. You can stack these up, you know, one over the other. You can store a lot more hidden away if you really have a small storage space. You don't have to worry about cans. You just zip the remaining pouch up. And as a general rule, if you're going to eat this stuff, if you have a family, you're going to have more than one piece. By the way, that's already rehydrated. That's pretty cool. I'm going to let it sit there a little bit longer. We're going to get this going here. We're going to drop our meatballs in. I want to show you what they look like. So that's the story on shelf life. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little info on that because I get a lot of questions. Because people see a Mylar bag and think, oh, no, that wouldn't work. Then again, Mountain House guarantees their Mylar bags for 25 years now. So you're pretty safe with Mylar bags. Okay, I'm going to cook four of these. I'm going to show you what they look like. They are tiny and they are light. And I don't think that's... Is that warm yet? Nah. So we're going to turn it up. We're going to bring it to a boil. Turn it off. Let it sit in there and hydrate. And then we're going to heat up the turkey breast and try it out. Alright, i got bubbles coming up from the bottom. That's good. I'm going to drop the meatballs in. Cover them up. And turn this bad boy off. Because they just said hot water. They didn't say boiling. So we're going to leave it at that. We're going to put it down here. I do need a bigger um, table, don't I, folks? <laughs> and what we're going to do is I'm going to heat up the turkey breast now. Um, I just want to warm it up. I don't want to you know, cook it or anything. Let me get this out of the way. Refire that. I probably should have left it on. I don't want to go too hot on that. I got a little bit of um, coconut oil in here, just so it won't stick, because this is a titanium pan. And we're going to melt that down. And I'll give you a look. I'm using my hands, but it's only for me that's eating this, so I'm not worried about it. Give you a look. That's fully hydrated now. I mean, that just feels like a regular slab of turkey you just cut off. You can even see inside. So we're going to heat this up just to give it a little, a little taste. And yes, it will splatter a little bit because it does have water in it still. Heat it up. One thing about titanium pans, they are light, but they sure do stick. <laughs> I tell you. Even with something like that, it's sticking. I'm going to warm up that side, too, a little bit. Now I'll bring you back when that's fully ready and warm. And i uh, got to say, that was really quick how quickly that hydrated. So we'll see how that tastes when we bring you back. All right, five, six minutes later, if that, we're all done. Now, give you a look at it. Let's not drop that in there and burn my fingers. All right, give you a look at it here, see what you get. And I just browned it up to get some taste out of it. As you can see, it cuts with a spoon, so it's not going to be uh, stiff or anything. Now we're going to try that piece out. Let me cool it off a little bit. And that tastes just like turkey. I mean, it is, but that tastes really, really good. Let me chew here for a sec. Okay, that I'm definitely going to recommend you buy. That is really, really good. It's really shocking to take something that feels like a piece of styrofoam, toss it in water, cook it, and it tastes exactly like you would expect turkey to taste. That would be awesome for like a sandwich, maybe make yourself a little miniature Thanksgiving dinner, whatever. That thing is awesome. That turkey is really, really good. I'm actually going to be uh, ordering some of that to put away for myself because that's really tasty. i got to say that was really impressive. So, that's good. We know that's good. Let's let the uh, meatballs finish up and I'll bring you back for those. All right, so I got this all done, and I said I wasn't going to cook anything with it, but you know what? you got to have sauce with meatballs. <laughs> so I threw in a little of my uh, Thrive Life dehydrated sauce. These are fully cooked. I chopped them in half with a, a spoon to make sure. Yep, see? They just cut right in half. Let's taste them out. Those are really good. They go good with the sauce, too. I did taste one without the sauce, and they're good. They just kind of taste like generic meatballs. But with the sauce, they are amazing. So you get some, yourself some tomato sauce, some spaghetti, you're set. And they do have, the freeze dry Wholesalers has a ton of different types of pasta. So you're set with that. you got all the pasta you can imagine from them. So, so far, the two of them, you're probably wondering where the uh, turkey breast went. That's because I ate it. It was that good. Let me finish this up. One more try. Yep. They're nice and soft. Fully hydrated, and they really, really taste good. Gotta say, that is definitely cool. And I would imagine, too, that if you wanted to hydrate these in hot water, and then when they were close, you threw them in the sauce and let them simmer, they'd be perfect. So they took about, I would say, 10 minutes in the warm water, and all I did was I took this off the fire, 
covered it up while it was boiling and just left it there. And it sat there for about 10 minutes and everything was nice and soft and perfect. So you can get a look at them. You can get a look at them right there. Pretty darn good. I'm pretty impressed. They just, you know, fall apart when you touch them. Fully, fully hydrated. No problems with that. So that is our taste test today. We had the freeze-dried beef meatballs. These are fully cooked. And the freeze-dried turkey breast, which is also fully cooked. This hydrated within a minute. I mean, this was super fast. These are a little denser, a little smaller. They're packed together. So it took a little bit longer, but still they hydrated perfectly. So really impressed with their food. The taste is right on point. The price for these, you know, again, you're buying freeze-dried food. You're not buying food you're going to be using every day. The meatballs for a bag, and that's a good deal of meatballs there, once you hydrate it all. They run about $38.90. I mean, sorry, sorry, $38.90. I don't want to give people heart attacks. The freeze-dried roasted cooked turkey breast is $29.70. And again, if you price this stuff out, okay, and you look at the 10 cans, and you get a 10 cans that say hamburger, it's like $60, $70, $80 now. You know, freeze-dried food has gone up in price a lot lately. So I'm assuming that's from demand, because I know there's a lot of people out there thinking that's a good time to prepare. And I would definitely say this is the time to start putting away food. If you're brand new, okay, and you don't have the budget for this stuff, I am not recommending you run out and, you know, cash out your 401k to get it. What I am recommending you do is you run to the store and you get canned goods. Um, some people get the impression that when I show stuff, I'm, I'm saying, you have to buy this or you're, gonna, or you're not going to survive. Absolutely not. That is not the point at all. The point of this is to show you options out there. There's lots of options. And uh, I'm definitely impressed with it. And I will definitely keep on, uh, keep on using their food and trying it out. Um, really, really good stuff. Now, I do have a link. You can check the link down below. The link down below is freezedriedwholesalers.com slash discount slash iridium242. You save 15% by using my code, which is iridium242. And all that will be down below in the description. So you're going to save 15% off your order no matter what. It is free shipping. This stuff is super, super light. I mean, that's what's amazing to me about this. Because it's packed in these bags, it's super, super light. So, me personally, I am about to do a, uh, a video coming up soon of making a little MRE with this type of food. Like, let's say you want to pack up your uh, go bags with some freeze-dried turkey breast and some couscous. You know, who would think of that as an emergency meal? But you got options now. You got really good food. You got some options. They taste a little better. And even if you want to buy a couple of these as a treat, you know, as kind of a morale booster from your regular fare of, you know, whatever you have canned or, you know, your canned food that you bought at the store, definitely a good idea to do it, you know. I mean, now is the time. With all the things we're facing in the world, definitely a time to start stocking up. So, like I said, the link down below will be for my, for my code down there. You can use it, 15% off code. Um, you can get a good deal right now. And I want to thank Richard Hampton for his ideas on the meatballs and the uh, turkey breast. Awesome food. I thank you guys when you give me some ideas for videos because doing this, if you don't know, you know, you have to come up with ideas every day. And it's kind of hard. So um, I, I appreciate it when people say, hey, I want to see that. And I will definitely test it out for you unless it's cost prohibitive. I don't like showing stuff that's super, super expensive because I know people are on budgets right now. And I like to you know, show people what, what they can get. But it's not that you have to buy this stuff. You know, I don't want somebody to go broke because they bought freeze-dried food and nothing happened and then end up on the street. That's not the point. The point is to stock up on a little bit of everything. You know, maybe you like the freeze-dried turkey and you have some rice already stored and you have some canned gravy already stored. Perfect. There you go, you know. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Like I said, I have the link for freeze-dried wholesalers down below. You'll get a 15% discount if you use my link. Um, don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below as well if you're interested in mixing up some stuff. This sauce here is actually the Thrive Life tomato sauce. Pretty darn good. I just eyeballed, mixed it. I threw some in there and just mixed it until it was the consistency I like. Uh, don't forget to check out our Food for Patriots link as well. That's preparewithiridium.com and our Amazon store down below as well. Everything that I do in the channel is it's a new product. I like to stick it in the Amazon store so you can check it out. If you're interested in buying, you can check it out there. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay fed and stay prepared.